Hello, it's another week, it's another week, and this week we're going to be looking for the market breakdown for the coming week, which is going to begin on the 11th of November and going to end on the 15th of November. So, for those who haven't yet uh, realized that, I'm still, I'm, I'm now available in the Lesla. Uh, for those who need one-on-one -on -one training, you can contact me so that you can start making a booking. I'll be a li uh, available till 2020. Yes, yeah. so the first pair which you're going to be looking at is Zao USD or Gold USD. And for Gold USD for the coming week, you're going to be looking for a bearish direction as this is H4, this is H4 time frame due to the double tops pattern and the break of this triangle of hours. The market has successful break and has reached to a neck of the support or resistance. Now, we'll, uh, we'll wait for a breakout at this level and wait for a good retest. is when we're going to add another position holding it to our targeted area. As we are trading double tops, this is Zao USD and this is H4 time frame. Another pair which we're going to be focusing on apart from Zao USD for this coming week, it's Card Chief. And for Card Chief for this coming week, we're going to be looking for a bullish, di bullish direction. And the big reason behind it is because the market gave us the first shoulder and it gave us the head. And this last week, it gave us the second shoulder. Now we are speaking that if the market gives us a pullback and we get an entry confirmation at this level, we're going to sell this pair. But high probability we wait for a break and retest of this trend line. We're going to add another position and wait for the break and retest of the neck of this head and shoulder pattern. We're going to add another position holding it to our data gated area. This is Card Chief and this is H4 time frame. Another pair which we're going to be focusing on apart from Card Chief for this coming week. It's Audi JPY, and for Audi JPY for this coming week, we're gonna be looking for a bullish direction. And the big reason behind, when you go back to daily, daily view, we can see a clear double, double, double bottoms pattern, a clear double bottoms pattern, as this is daily time frame, and the market has successful breach out the neck of the double bottoms and we tested it. If we can see it clearly, now we are expecting that the market will continue moving up toward that targeted area. Where are we are expecting to get our entries, let's move back to H4. Yep, as you can see in H4, the market is on the trend line, uh, and uh, we are waiting for a market to break this trend line up and retest it. Is when we're going to add our entry. And if it's break and retest in the downside, we're going to hold this pair, this end trade until to this level. And we're only going to be looking for buying opportunity to move up with it. But high probability to continue moving up. And with that, to, to, at this area is where we're going to be looking for our entry point. This is Audi JPY and this is daily, this is H4 time frame. Another pair which we're going to be focusing on apart from Audi JPY, it's... JPY and for card JPY is it's gonna be bullish and the big reason behind it's because the market in H4 time frame this is H4 time frame has reached it to a certain trend line of which it is almost respecting it but at our high probability look for selling or buying opportunity at this level and when the market break and retest of this support or resistance but this break and retest is a high probability entry but it might also break down and if it breaks down we're going to be waiting for it to reach toward this trend line of ours here is when you're going to be looking for a buying opportunity holding it toward a targeted area which can be viewed in the daily time frame this is Cat JPY and this is what you're seeing in front of you. It is a daily time frame. And the big reason behind it is the daily time frame we have double tops and the market has broken the neck and rejected it very well. Now we it's time to move up with it. This is Cat JPY and this is daily time frame. Another pair which you're gonna be focusing on apart from Cat JPY, it's Chief JPY. And for Chief JPY for this coming week you're gonna be looking for a temporary bearish direction. And in as this is the H4 time frame, uh, the reason behind for us to be coming back is because we are coming back to retest this neck of ours or this trend line of ours. And uh, because of the double top pattern, we are expecting that the market will drop down a little. But our entry point will be observed when the market break and retest this support or neck. And then we're going to add to this area. And then at this area, we're going to be looking for a bullish direction which you're going to be moving up with it to a targeted area which can easily be observed in daily time frame. Chief JPY, this is H4 and we're moving to daily time frame. This is daily time frame. As you can see, our targeted area is that point there. And the trend line which is, being, is going to be retested is this one, which is the daily trend line. 
Uh, another pair which is going to be focusing on apart from Chief JPY for this coming week is Euro JPY. And for Euro JPY for this coming week, we're going to be looking for a bellish direction. And the big reason behind, as we can see, this is a four time frame. The market has, 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 has consolidated for a long period of time as it is still respecting this trend line of ours. Now we are anticipating that the market will will breach out this neck and retest it. Is when we're going to be looking for our entry point or it make a pullback toward that trend line again. We're going to look for our entry holding it toward our targeted area. This is this is Euro JPY and this is H4 time frame. Another pair which we're going to be focusing on apart from Euro JPY is GBB JPY. And for GBB JPY for this coming week, we're going to be looking for temporary bearish direction as this is GBB JPY and this is H4 time frame. We're going to be waiting for a market to drop down because there is this triangle pattern. We're expecting that the market will drop down, coming back to, car to test the broken support or resistance. And it will be like retesting the the neck of the of the double bottoms, the neck of the double bottoms, which can clearly be observed. So after the retest is gonna we're gonna be taking the bullish direction, holding it toward a targeted area, which can easily be observed in daily time frame. Yeah. So for this coming week, it will drop this level and then it will pull up toward the targeted area. This is GPB, JPY, and this is the daily time frame. Another pair which you're going to be looking at, apart from GPB, JPY, it's NZDJPY. And for NZDJPY, for this coming week, you're going to be looking for a bearish direction. And the big reason behind it is because the market has consolidated. This is a chore, by the way. But the market has consolidated for a long period of time as it has given us a good, clear double tops. As we are waiting for a breach out of this trend line and this support or resistance, it might either break up or break down, but high probability to break down. But when it breaks up, we wait for a good retest, we will hold it to that area. But high probability is that it will break down and we test it, or which it will make to test this trend line or the support or resistance, then we hold it to this targeted area. This is US and the DJPY and this is H for time frame. Another pair which we're gonna be focusing on apart from N Z D J P Y is US D J P Y. And for USDJPY for this coming week, we're going to be looking for a bit more bullish direction. Uh, let's go to the ideal time frame. The big reason behind for us to look for a, for a, for a bullish direction, it's because it, given, it has given us the first shoulder, the head, and it, it gave us the second shoulder this week. Now we are expecting that to breach out this neck of it. And then if it's successful, breach this neck. We're going to wait for a good retest, then we'll hold it to the targeted area. This is USDJPY and this is daily time frame. Another pair which we're going to be focusing on, apart from USDJPY, it's Euro Audi. And for Euro Audi, for this coming week, we're going to be looking for a bearish direction, as this is a short time frame. And the big reason behind for us to to drop down is this, because it's make completion of the pattern of the head and show, I mean a uh, wage pattern, and because we are anticipating that the market has, uh, it's provided us the first shoulder, head, and this is the second shoulder. Now, the completion of this head and shoulder, it might be on this level here. So we will be holding this week, we will look for our entry opportunity here, when the market pullbacks toward that trend line, and then we will take our entry of selling toward this targeted area. This is Euro Audi and this is H4 time frame. Another pair which we're going to be focusing on apart from Euro Audi, it's Euro card. And for Euro card for this coming week, we're going to be looking for a bullish direction. And the big reason behind it is because the market has given us a successful double, double, double tops. Double tops. And in another way, it gave us the first shoulder. And this was the head. And we are expecting that it is coming back to form the second shoulder. So for this coming week, we're going to be buying this pair to a this targeted area. And the big reason behind is because of the wage pattern, which has been observed in the past weeks. So we, where are we going to be looking for our entry? Our entry point will be looking at this level as it has already given us double bottoms. Now we will wait for a breach out of this support or resistance. And when it came back to retest in the smaller time frame, we, took our end, we will take our entry, holding it until it breaches this trend line again. We will wait for a retest. We will add another position here. Then we all these two at the targeted area. This is 
this is Eurocard and this is H4 time frame. Another pair which we're going to be focusing on apart from Eurocard for this coming week, it's Eurochief. And for Eurochief for this coming week, you're going to be looking for a bullish direction. And the big reason behind is because the market gave us the flag pattern, which is a continuation. And it came back to the trend line, which has been observed. And we will be continue moving up because the market gave us first double bottoms in the past year days and now it is about to complete its direction so where are we going to be looking for enter our entry point to be observed at this level and when the market will breach out this trend line and retest it or when the market breach out this support or resistance holding it toward a targeted area this is euro chief and this is h4 time frame another pair which you're going to be looking at apart from euro chief is euro usd and for Euro USD for this coming week, we're going to be looking for a bullish direction. And the big reason behind is because the market has broken this trend line and it gave us the double bottom, double tops, and it has already dropped and it's about to reach the completion of distance of the double tops at this level here. Of which, when we put a Fibonacci retracement, Fibonacci retracement, when we put a Fibonacci retracement, it is almost in the level. 61 and 50 so if it give us our entry confirmation at this point here at this point here is when we're going to be looking for our entry opportunity holding it toward our targeted area this is euro usd and this is h4 time frame another pair which we're going to be focusing on apart from euro usd it's euro gpb and for euro gpb for this coming week we're going to be looking for a bearish direction and the big reason behind as you can see in h4 time frame this is h4 time frame the resistor angle we wait for a break and retest of it a clear retest holding it toward the targeted point which can clearly be observed in the daily time frame in the daily time frame so we're going to be waiting for this market to drop toward this targeted area this is Euro GPB and this is H4 and this is daily time frame. Another pair which is the last pair for this coming week it's Euro G Euro NZ and for Euro NZ for this coming week we're gonna be looking for a bearish direction and the big reason behind it's because the market it has given us a clear pressed shoulder head and it has given us a shoulder and breach out this trend line of ours and we tested it very well. Now it's like forming, forming like a like a flag pattern, of which we are anticipating that if this flag opens itself very well, we might have a big drop toward this targeted area. So for this coming week, we're going to be looking for a selling opportunity, holding it toward this targeted area. For those who need one-on-one -on -one training. For those who need the online training, physical training, for those who need mentorship, for those who need signal service, for those who need account management, you can contact me via the, the contact placed in the description. And for those who haven't yet subscribed to our YouTube channel, switch on post notification and subscribe to our YouTube channel so that you can be altered whenever we are posting such kind of analysis and educational video purpose. And uh, also, for those who haven't yet joined our Telegram channel, it's your high time to join our Telegram channel so that you can be receiving some updates of what we are progressing in our community. Happy purchasing with traders.